Good afternoon. I know several of you here, but some of you I don't. Mr. Howard hasn't arrived yet. Are any of you somebody who's been in communication with him, and do you know if he intends to be here this afternoon? Mr. Price, Paul, there's no answer on his phone, but we, have, we don't know if he uh, isn't going to show. I mean, we don't know. Right. So you haven't talked to him in the last few hours? or a couple of weeks, actually. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, about a week. He said he was coming a week ago. A week ago. So you haven't had any conversation with him since then? I mean, the last information we had, basically based on his postings on the web, were that he... Um, was trying to raise funds for an attorney and travel cost and that sort of thing. And he hasn't indicated to us he's not coming. Right. But if you knew, you know, if you ta had breakfast with him and knew he was on the way, right. yeah. I'd want the, the ballot law commission to know that no. um, before they decide what to do because he isn't here. Right. So, and you're the only folks that... I'm going to try to call him again? If, if you have a number, we can try him, sure. If he can confirm either that he's not coming, then we won't keep everybody here. And right. If, um, you know, he's down the street with a flat tire, then that would be helpful to know as well. That, that might be the case. Sure. And, and we just want to know that so we can... <laughs> I, got, I have that feeling. Well, see, there's not really a conversion language for conversion. There's only a translation. I don't have that with him. But it's certainly a helpful study, and it made me... I didn't develop the last one. I'm going to try to
Membership a chairman. Uh, we have not met this year, so this is the first opportunity to do that. I will uh, nominate the chairman, uh, Barry Frankor, for another term. I'll second that. Any discussion? <coughs> Seeing none, we'll take a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? No Sorry, we have voted it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 The petition the petition is the petition is uh, or it's an appeal by Mr. Howard, so I think we probably ought to that's the matter that's before us. Is anybody here representing Mr. Howard? All the shaking heads, I assume that's a no. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, that's my understanding. I've inquired of the people in the audience. Some know Mr. Howard, and for the record, they've made an effort, actually several efforts to reach him by telephone this afternoon to determine if he's on his way. They're unable to reach him, and they advised me the last time they had communication with him was one week ago, at which time he had expressed an intent to appear today. We have no further information on Mr. Howard's. So, Mr. Chairman, if I may, for the record, go ahead. Um, it was my suggestion that we wait at least 20 minutes for Mr. Howard. I base that on the usual uh, university professorial wait for your professor for 20 minutes, and if he doesn't show up, you can leave. Uh, <laughs> as for a full That's for a full, that's for a full yeah, five <laughs> minutes was a great decision. Yeah. Well, that's a beauty. It's on the right but, uh, I think we've waited a reasonable period of time, but I would like to inquire procedurally, maybe a little contrary to Mr. Cook's comment, Commissioner Cook's comment. Uh, shouldn't we be entertaining as our first matter the motion to dismiss as filed on behalf of the Secretary of State? Okay. I think just that meant to get the matter in front of us. We had to say we were here to consider the appeal. Okay. okay. I, I think the appropriate thing, in my view, the appropriate thing would be to, to uh, Entertain a discussion on the motion to dismiss. <coughs> Any other discussion? Okay, at this time, then, we'll, as the board, we'll pick up the motion to dismiss the appeal of Albert Howard. Mr. Fitch? Mr. Chairman, thank you. For the record, my name is Bud Fitch. I'm the Deputy Attorney General in New Hampshire, and I'm here today representing Secretary of State uh, Bill Gardner. I have with me Deputy Secretary of State uh, Dave Scanlon, uh, who's available to testify were that to be necessary. We have moved on behalf of the Secretary of State to dismiss this appeal as the document that we received from Mr. Howard um, is not, as we understand it, an appeal that properly would come before this board. We understand your role to be <coughs> to review decisions that are made by the Secretary of State and the Deputy Secretary of State during the course of a recount where a candidate or his or her representative have challenged the manner in which a particular ballot is being counted, who that ballot's being counted for, and then they have protested the decision that's made by the Secretary of State or the Deputy Secretary of State as to how that ballot should be counted. And we understand the statute, as was set forth in our motion, to define that as the role of an appeal in this posture of a primary. Uh, we note, in addition, that there is nothing that we're aware of from Mr. Howard's pleading other than one phrase in the caption that suggests that he had an intention of challenging how particular ballots that were protested were counted. Um, having reviewed those ballots in preparation for the hearing, and we certainly have them available if you want to look at them, there are none where there are any stray marks that raise any question as 